morning, Brent Gove here. I have some exciting best practices to share with all of you about absolutely killing it at eXp. If you want to acquire stock and build a huge organization and make some great passive income through eXp revenue sharing, this is the best practice video with you, for you. So let's get into it. I'm going to focus on attraction. The first thing I want to do is give you some tips. Number one, you don't have to know a whole bunch of people. You think, well, like so-and-so knows a lot of people and so-and-so knows a lot of people. I'm new. I haven't sold that many homes. My sponsor called me from Dallas, Texas, mentioned we had met briefly two years ago for 30 seconds. Asked me if I remembered her, and I said, nope, I do not remember you. And she said, ah, it's not important. But what is important is, have you heard of EXP? I'm so excited about it. Nope, I haven't heard about it. Oh my gosh, Brent, I was impressed with you. I kept your name and information all this time. I would be so grateful if you would give me your opinion on the company. Sure, that is a great attraction line. And you know, I didn't know if she was brand new, just got her license. I didn't know if she'd been doing it for 35, 40 years. I didn't know if she was selling five, 10 homes a year or 500. So, you know, lose this whole thing. Well, I don't know anybody and I don't have your credibility. I knew nothing about my sponsor for all, for all, she could have just gotten her license. She could have been selling two homes a year. I watched the webinar. Of course, I asked a lot of questions, and within two or three weeks, I moved my hundred plus million dollar team to EXP. So, lose this whole thing of I don't have the car, I don't have, you know, here's a great saying you like quotes? I like this one. If you argue for your limitations, you get to keep them. And who wants them? I mean, well, I can't afford it. I, I, I'm too shy. I'm this. I don't know enough people. Okay, fine. You win the argument. So stay where you are. If you want things to be different, you got to do something different. You got to reach down deep and find some moxie and make this thing happen. Now, the next thing I do is I say, oh my gosh, I want to set up a time to show this to you. Can you email me something? Nope. Can you text me something? Nope. A picture's worth a thousand words. This is 95% visual. When, and then immediately go to the question. Don't give them a chance to talk. When is it kind of a slow day for you? For me, it's Wednesdays and Fridays. How about you? Oh, God, I'm busy all the time. I go, come on, you got to have a day. You're not totally slammed. And they go, well, yeah, Saturday mornings. Great, Saturday mornings. You think in early, like 7 a.m., 8, 9, before your day gets crazy and your phone starts blowing up. Uh, well, how long is it? Ah, it's short. Um, okay, yeah, let's let's do 9 a.m. Great, get some coffee. I just need you in front of your computer. Now, if you know them well enough or you're close enough, say, I'd like to come down to your office and show you something. How, how long is it again? It's short. It's brilliant. In fact, if it bores you, we'll click off after five minutes. But I'm telling you, you're going to be blown away. Okay, so a best practice is to watch the webinar with them if you have that um, relationship, if you can possibly. It's like an 80% success rate if you sit there and watch the webinar with them. If you... Do it like over the phone where you, okay, okay, now I need you in front of your laptop Saturday morning at 9. Now, Sheila was in Dallas. She wasn't able to fly to Sacramento and watch the webinar with me. So she said, okay, you in front of your computer? Yes. And it was 9 a.m. on a Wednesday morning. I'll never forget it. I re I've forgotten a lot of 9 a.m. Wednesday mornings. This one was pivotal. This one was a... Uh, a life-changing moment for me. And so I jumped on that webinar and I watched it. And so that's the deal. Watch it with them if you can, 80% 80 success rate. Now, if you know them well and you have to have them jump on far away wherever they are, it's about a 68% success rate. At least that's what I experienced. Then once I got through the people that I knew really well and I get to people I knew but I didn't know as well, it dropped for me to about a 48% success rate. And um, so that's, that's kind of where it is. And, I, and lately it might have been as low as a 44. Uh, maybe I'm just too lazy and not as hungry for it and as excited as I was those first two, three, four, five months. So, uh, you know, when you're when you're doing pretty good, you're not, not quite as motivated. So uh, anyway, so I said that. Next is the power of a three-way call. When they get done watching the webinar, answer a few basic, basic questions, but don't talk to them for an hour or two hours. Just say, man, I'm new. I'm excited like you. Let me introduce you to, don't use the word upline. Don't say the word downline. They're buzzwords for multi-level marketing companies. We are not. And when sometimes they'll say, oh, this looks like a network marketing company. I say, well, let me ask you a question. Is Keller Williams a network marketing company? Oh, no, they're a real estate company. Oh, yep. And they share the uh, profits for seven generations, for seven levels. 
been doing it 25 years. EXP is a real estate company. We are all about selling real estate. We're all about helping you sell more real estate, but we share the revenue for seven generations. So we're just like Keller Williams in that regard. We are not a multi-level marketing company. They, oh, okay, I get it. I get it. But here's the deal. Just say, look, I'm new. I'm excited. But let me talk to you about my business partner, um, Sheila Fairsron. In, in my case, Sheila was my sponsor. I said, let me get you on the phone with Sheila. She's been doing this longer. She's got a lot more experience. I think it was three months. <laughs> three months. And so basically she uh, would talk to them and then we'd elevate to somebody else and somebody else and and then, you know, kind of get them. Now the, the webinar we're promoting is it's the new re.com. It's I-T-S the new re.com. No commas, no apostrophes, no spaces. Don't forget to put the word it's in front of it. It's the new re.com. And it's, I just made this last week. It's updated to and people are loving it. They say, I ripped the cover off the balls, they say. Um, so, but the power of a three-way call, I say, hey, if it's okay, I want to introduce you to Sheila. Um, she can answer your questions. She's an absolute veteran, you know, two or three months before me, but hey, it worked. And um, it turned out Sheila was selling 15 to 20 million a year and been doing real estate for about as long as I had, 20 years, very successful. And um, I get them on the phone with Sheila, that second part of credibility. I do a text. The agents that do this kill it. Here's what it looks like. Hey, Jim. Hey, uh, Kathy. This is Sheila. Sheila, this is Kathy. I just showed the webinar to Kathy. She's a Cobalt Banker superstar. She's a uh, Remax superstar. Keller Williams, ex-team leader. And she watched the webinar. She's very interested, but she has some questions. Can the two of you connect? Um, I told Kathy I'd be making this connection. Kathy is expecting you to reach back via text and set up a time to chat for five or ten minutes. Just something like that. But again, don't have, say, I'm going to have somebody in my upline call you. Lose the word upline. Use the word downline. Just say, my business partner is amazing. Gene Frederick, Rob Flick, Sheila Fergeron. You think, well, if I had those people. When we started, they all they had like three, four, five, six hundred agents in their whole group. That was it. And I remember when Rob Flick was making, James, was it like 25000 a month or something? Yep. 25000 Oh, my gosh, he's making 25000 a month. Rev share, isn't that incredible? I mean, how many people, you know, make that in profit share? You have, yeah, in 25 years. He's been here a year and a half. And so we were so excited. And, of course, now they're ultra mega successful. I mean, uh, um, if I were to tell you his income was quadrupled, that it's like way, way more. So we won't even go there. It gets crazy. But the power of a three-way text introduction. The agents that are doing that are killing it. Zoom. Learn to use Zoom. Zoom calls are amazing like this. Uh, visual communication is very visual. So set up a Zoom call where you can see each other. It's really easy to do. You just haven't ever done it. Figure that out. Uh, next, um, you know, watch it with them again if you can. Very important. Lunch and learns. I want to talk to you about that. A lot of you want to set them up, but you'll go to a restaurant. It's a huge mistake, in my opinion. You'll go to a... Uh uh, where else do people go? They just, you know, I, I like to go to not to restaurants or hotels, you know, ideally, ideally um, is a mortgage company conference room or a title company conference room. Now, I found mortgages far better because title has rust, but the title companies get worried that other title companies will turn them, they tattle on each other. So my opinion is you should do a mortgage company conference room and pack it out. Couple things. A, do not put the chairs out so the people show up. I'll say it again. Do not put the chairs out so the people show up. Have them on the side, have them ready to go, and then add them. You know, if you know you've got 30, put out 14 chairs and then add them as you need them. Because when 18 show up, the, the 12 empty chairs will be right in front of the speaker and you just bombed. You just let all the air out of the room. You've just totally ruined your meeting. So again, Put the chairs out as you need them. Put half the chairs you think you're going to need. Okay? Very important. And again, well, the conference room only seats uh, 14. I put 30 and 40 people in conference rooms that seat 14. They're jammed in there. They're standing. They're looking outside the window through there. Um, it creates a lot of energy, a lot of uh, room dynamics, room motivation. Or you could put... 
80 people in a room that holds 200 and you look like you completely flopped. Um, always get rooms that are too small and the leaders can step outside, look through the door. It's like, oh my gosh, what's going on here? And you have 14 people because your conference room holds six and there's, you know, another four or five around them. And then there's two or three people looking through the door. It's like, you know, you can make any meeting exciting with that. So I like Lunch and Learns for a second look. Again, watch the webinar with them in person. Uh, next, onboarding. Um, some of you have set up people to help onboard your people. If you have nobody, you can utilize my daughter. She onboards people eight hours a day, five days a week, helps them get their business cards, helps them get their Regis Corporate Suite membership, helps build them an avatar, takes them on a tour of the cloud, um, sets up their, uh, their email, their EXP email, will forward it to their Gmail, will teach them about all the different websites like conversion and, and, and your back office with uh you know you you have the exp enterprise your, that shows you your stock awards she'll take them into accounting agent services so her her email is christina with a k christina at brentgove.com so that's very important her phone number if you want to text her is 916-540-8171 540-8171. Now, some of you have set up people to help onboard your people. So if you've got that going on, utilize that. But if you have nobody, use my daughter to help onboard people. She does it eight hours a day, five days a week. She's probably onboarded seven, 800 agents and brokers. We couldn't get to everybody. We now have over 2,800. We're going to break 3,000 by, uh, by the middle of next month, over 3,000 agents. We're just super stoked. Um, so I wanted to cover that. Next is um, signing up married couples. It's important you sign up on the same line. You both name your sponsor. Like if I had signed you up on your married couple, you would both name me, but you basically share one spot, one $50 fee, one $35 educational fee for both of you, one $16,000 cap. That is how you do it if you're a married couple. If you're business partners, father, son, father, daughter, mother, son, mother, daughter, or you're just friends and you've worked together for two, three years or five or 10 years, one would sign up and then sign up the other one. And one is a $16,000 cap, one is an $8,000 cap. That's how that works. Um, and then you put everybody under the $16,000 cap. Uh, they would do all the sponsoring. Then you split that 50, 50, 60, 40, 70, 30, however you guys want to split the revenue shares the way to go, in my opinion. Rather than both of you trying to get the 40, then you have to do 80. So that's how that works. Um, if you both do 20, you're at 40, you're getting paid on all seven levels. So that's my opinion there. Let's see on the home stretch here. Um, by the way, what do you do if you meet a Remax agent or a Keller Williams agent or an agent somewhere where they're capped at 100% until this January, or this March, or this June, or next October? Um, we can match a cap. It's not 99%. 99.9. It's not 100%. We do have to get it approved. On the East Coast, Jason Guessing approves those people currently in the Midwest. What's that? What's the gal's name? Janie. Janie in the Midwest. She's a regional manager for EXP. On the West Coast, it is Sam Rodriguez. Great guy. I love Sam. He approves them. So you got to go to the regional managers for approval. I've never had them turn one down. As long as they have paid over 16000 or more to their company and they're capped and they're capped till again, January, March, next July, whatever it is, and they can provide, provide proof of the cap, you know, just show us that your cap, show us when your anniversary date is, the management team at eXp will approve that, okay? But say 99.9, .9, we got to get the approval because things may change and you don't want to promise them it's going to happen and then have it change. Very important, you say 99%, 99.9, whatever you want to do, and immediately get that to a regional manager for approval. If they are so that way, because a lot of agents will say, well, I'm at 100 percent till next January, next April. I can't leave till then. Oh, yeah, you can. We'll put you at 100, which means we're not going to charge you the 20 percent on the 80, 20 split. Now, you do have to pay the twenty five dollar per transaction broker review fee. You do have to pay 40 per transaction. So we have to have the, you know, insurance, but that will it goes towards your 500 cap on the, you know, you're done. And then uh, there is the 250 per transactional fee that applies if an agent's at 100%. So if we put, if we honor their cap that they've paid into 
say Keller Williams or Remax till January or March, they will pay the 250s up until that point. Now, some people go, you know what? I don't, I don't forget it. I'm just going to come over, cap, do 20 deals, and get the Icon Award. I get it back. So, um, don't give up that Icon Stock Award. You may want to think twice before you just let them know it's your choice. I think I can get this for you. But if you're going to get in cap and do 20 deals, you actually get your cap back. If you if you wait till next January, February, March, April, you may not make it, and you're giving up the Icon Award which is the 16,000 in stock. You may not want to do that. Or I just have a simple question for you. Are you a wandering generality or a meaningful specific? Zig Ziglar used to say that all the time. Most agents kind of bounce around, they have no idea. So what we want to do is have you set some meaningful specific goals today. Today. And then what does that mean? Well, I'm going to set the goal to time block every Wednesday afternoon or Friday afternoon or Saturday morning or Sunday evening to make three hours outbound calls for EXP. You're not allowed to talk to buyers. You're not allowed to talk to sellers. You are developing that other part of your business. Instead of just acquiring buyers and acquiring sellers, now you're going to acquire agents. You're going to list agents. Uh, watch what happens when you go get list 40 agents instead of 40 listings. It takes a lot of effort and dollars to go get 40 listings and, and effort. Try one day a week time blocking and go list some agents and watch that grow exponentially. I mean, it's just been absolutely amazing. So with that said... So number one, time block. When? Number two, make a list. Get a list of names so you have people to call. You don't say, oh, who should I call? Knock that out. Spend a few hours. Go somewhere with a cup of coffee. Go through your phone. I never got past G's in my phone. Done. I'm done. I've. How many do we have, James? About 2,800. We have 63 total. 63 is what I was getting at. Yep. 63 uh, personally sponsored. I'm, I'm good. I mean, I'm going to keep going and go to 70, 80, and 100. Why not? It's like having 100 McDonald's franchises. But it's better because my McDonald's, each one grows exponentially. So it's. Uh, I think that by this December, we'll have 14 different legs with over 100 agents and brokers in them. And some with 200, some with 500, some with 1,500, some with 2,500 of that. But 14 with a hundred or more. So it's really cool. So number one, time block. Number two, make a list. Number three, make the calls. Time block, make a list, make the calls. Number four, show the webinars. Set up appointments to show the webinars. Number five, get your prospects on the phone with your business partners. My business partner who shared EXP with me. You know, I have another business partner and that may be someone further up, but don't resist the temptation to call them. I want you to talk to someone in my upline. Don't, don't do that. And then finally, promote the next EXP like your life depends on it because it does. So, I mean, the bounce you get off these events are incredible. I have one coming up here in Las Vegas. Man, you will, your business will explode if you will simply bring people with you. I'm going to have like 25 personals there. It's about golfing, swimming, going out to dinner, playing. Of course, every day we'll have high-level collaboration on site. That's a big deal coming up August 21st, 22nd, 23rd. If you're not there, in my opinion, you are missing the boat. You've just, you've just missed your ticket to the, the World's Fair. I mean, this is, this is where it's going to happen. So make sure you do that. Okay, finally, do the right thing. This is a core value for eXp. Do the right thing. What should I do? I don't know, but do the right thing. In other words, if somebody's already fully engaged with somebody and that person's excited, but they call you because they know you, they're like, hey, man, I didn't know you were an EXP. Don't try to recruit them. They're already engaged with somebody else. Now, th here's where the bait comes. They go, yeah, I don't know them that well. You know, I'd rather be sponsored by you. My, again, this is the, very much the high road. I'm like, that's great, but the only reason you call me is because of so-and-so, the person you don't like very well, the person you don't know very well. I did not know my sponsor. What if I had called somebody else? I mean, it would have been changed her life had I changed sponsors. You owe it to the person who reached out to you to um, stay with them. So don't take the bait. Well, would you sponsor me? I had a star in San Diego uh, call me to sponsor him, Matt Badiata. I'm going, Matt, you didn't hear about he speak for me. He goes, I know, man, but you're awesome. I've known you and he they'd be okay with it i go no nah, no they're not even gonna do exp i go call them back and ask them and if they're not gonna do exp fine they just give you a hot tip but i bet you anything they're gonna do it called his sponsor and he's like yeah man i just signed up two weeks ago i'm so excited what if i had signed up matt Badiata? the guy's amazing um i didn't do that i said matt you need and he agreed yeah you're right i need to sign up under that person so resist the temptation resist that uh, bait do the right thing 
I've, I must have turned away 15 people that want me to sponsor them. I'm like, I didn't even talk to you. How'd you even get, I looked you up. I heard about you, blah, 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 blah. And, and they, the, and I've had some people, very high drivers, like, Hey, it's my right. I get to choose. I go, yeah, you totally do. But so do I. The answer is no, I love you, but no, I'm going to sleep well at night. I'm not taking you from, so I don't even like them. I don't want them. Sorry. You know, I, I just won't do it. That's me. That's a super high level. That's what I recommend you do. Final word of inspiration. Be intentional. Get to work. Execute. And enjoy the results of this amazing business we call EXP Realty. Love you all. See you at the next big event. Promote it like your life depends on it. Because it does.